Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandhi. Today we will write a Java program to swap two numbers in Java without using temp variable and using multiplication and division operation. Using multiplication and division operation. Okay. So given the output 10 comma 20, I should get output as 20 comma 10. Okay. Let's go to the logic explanation. These are the three important lines here. So in the first step what I am doing is I am assigning the values 10 comma 20 to A and B respectively. Assigning 10 comma 20 to A and B. Now, in the first step A equal to A star B. That means A equals to A star B. So A star B is what 10 into 10 into 20 that is 200. In the second step B equals to A by B. So what is A here? 200 and B is 20. So which will give the value of 10. And in the third step A equals to A by B. So what is the value of A here? 200 A equals to 200 by B equals to 10. Now A value will be 20. So if you see the output, now B got value, B got initially we took B as 20, after swapping B became 10. Initially we took A as 10, now it became 20. Let's write a Java program. Creating a class, swap multiplication demo. Write a main method and first take the value as int a equal to 10, int b equals to 20. Write a swap method, write a user defined method which is swap, public static void swap which will take two integers that is a comma b. Okay, now what is the first step? A equal to A star B, B equal to A by B, and A equals to A by B. A equal to A star B, B equal to A by B, and A equal to A by B. These are the three important steps. So let's print the value of a comma b before swapping. Printing a comma b by printing. So before swapping, a equals to a. Copy this statement and print the value of b two before swapping. So before swapping, b equals to B. And after swapping, print the value of A and B. After swapping, A and B equal to A and B. So let's run this program and see the output. So before swapping, value of a comma b is 10 comma 20 so we have to call swap method by passing a comma b here which will call the swap method and it will print after swapping values too run this program so if you see the output before swapping a is 10 and b is 20 after swapping a is 20 b is 10 Hope you guys understand the swapping logic. If you have any questions on this, please uh, write in the comment section. I will reply to your comments as early as possible. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.